Bachelorette recap. First of all, I'm sorry I abandoned you last week. I know I promised I wouldn't do that this season, but unfortunately I had things on and life, and then by the time I was ready to recap, we were almost to this episode. So I was like, nah, you'll be fine. Basically, in short, those two episodes, all I remember was hot date with Lee. Lee was hot, Lee continues to be hot. Courtney, weird, I don't understand how she finds him attractive. He's a man child. This week, we have more good dates. Georgia is just knocking them out of the park with the good dates. Like, I'm just, I don't know about you, but the excitement is just continues to be there in terms of the field. It's a strong field of competitors, Miss Georgia. You are doing good things. I mean, sure, we've got the douche boats, Reese and Sam and all that crap over that way, but that needs to happen just to, with 10 or 15 people in it. We've got a lot happening over there too, which I'm so excited about. Okay, so first, Wednesday night's episode, she went on a one-on-one -on -one date with Clancy, Clancy of the beard and the pool jumping. Talked about trying to create New York in Sydney. Everybody, no. No, no, you cannot recreate New York and Sydney, especially because there's things like lockout laws. It just, Sydney is not New York. Of all the things Sydney is, it is not New York, never gonna be, stop trying. You're more LA, Sydney. Try to be LA, that's, that's you've got that down. They did, then did ice skating in the park to try and recreate the Rockefeller Center ice skating, where Clancy preempted himself and kind of was like, I can skate all right. I'm kind of like, all right, maybe he would better to do a triple sow cow, but he would better do some kind of twist maneuvering. No, no, Clancy was like Bambi on ice. But Georgia found it hilarious and adorable and that was great. Um, and then they had a nice little pash. They went to uh, some after uh, some late night drinking, which obviously must have happened at 7.30 because how else would they have gotten to have alcohol in the city after eight o'clock in Sydney? <laughs> Sydney, always funny, you guys with the lockout laws. Um, dear. Um, they, yeah, they had a little, they had a good pash. So, and there was some chemistry there, and I thought, mm, I liked what was happening, Georgia. I liked what was happening, Clancy. Then we had the archery shenango thing, which was a bit stupid. Uh, it's still in that phase where you have to have a group date of dumb stuff that is dumb. Basically, they all had to dress up in knight's gear and run through a whole bunch of hay bales. It was kind of like medieval, it's a knockout. Um, pointless and stupid, and no one, no one, not even my precious Lee, can look good in that knight costume. So we just, I just, from the mind. The only thing that came out of it was that Courtney, Courtney was trying to be a better bro than he was chasing his hoe. He kind of wanted to engineer the fact that he wanted Ryan or Maddie J to get some time by bombing deliberately in one of the uh, games. Uh, Georgia did not hit that very well. She kind of was like, what, I'm here for me, not trying to set everybody up on a date. We also had, on Wednesday night, intruders! We had two intruders and they were the beautiful stereotype intruders. We had hot Italian Matteo. Matteo's accent was glorious and almost un 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 unintelligible. He was here, he liked women, he wanted to settle down in his life. I don't know what accent, that's kind of like a Spanish, it's Roderick Fred Federer accent. I can't do accents. And then we had Todd, Todd the guitar, Todd who likes Broadway shows. Um, and only wants to go to New York to see as many Broadway shows as he can. He loves musical theatre and he sang a song and actually it's not too bad. Look, it could be worse. Usually people sing a song on reality TV when they're not singers. It's bad. He was good and Georgia ate it up. You know what she's liked about. She just wants someone to sing to her. She was boom. That was it. Mateo did not last past the ceremony. So poor Mateo. Bye. Then tonight's episode. Oh, tonight's episode. God, it was just like... It's like every Bachelorette episode dream come true. It was just so amazing. Um, in terms of, we first of all, we had Cam, Fireman Cam, got his date. So they went on a little picnic and they, the date was some kind of weird, like they both share a lot for Disney themed movies. So they tried to say that the things they were doing were like related to those movies. It's not, it's, it's no. Like, they're like, can we all just not pretend that trying to link it in theme wise? Like, like the, the rug was supposed to be Aladdin. No, Georgia, it really wasn't. Like, Sydney isn't New York. A rug in a field isn't Aladdin. Uh, we then went in the chopper where Cam got a little bit handsy. Now, Cam had acknowledged the fact that he felt it like that maybe they were friend zoned a little bit, that, that, that it was dangerous that they would only be friends. So, step one, hand up, up a thigh in the chopper. Good move, Cambo. Step two, a lot of close body contact when it came time to the puppies. There was a field of tiny Dalmatians, a field, 15, 15 Dalmatians, Georgia and Cam, frolicked in Dalmatians. Both looked attractive, the puppies looked attractive, it was just an orgy of attractiveness. Well played producers. And then thirdly, they went and had a dinner somewhere in, in it with a fire. 
I don't know what Disney movie that was supposed to be. Maybe The Lion King, but we didn't kill any animals, so we didn't eat off sticks like Timon and Pumbaa would. The bulk of that date was them chatting about how they felt the chemistry was there, and then Cam patched it. Damn, Cam! Cam got game! Cam had the back head maneuver for the kiss, and then, after she gave him the rose, goes in for the, for the beautiful... Ellis, if you're watching this channel, Cam has taught you the moves of kissing. It's the back head cradle with a tiny bit of hair, like, oh, grab, bit of, oh, throw down. And then it's the cheek caress. Like that is a move. That is just, woof. And that kiss, bam. Like Cam, who was, you know, in the pack, stepped on up tonight. Good work, Cam. Woo, woo. We then had the group date, which was again, theme wise, loosely based on what they were doing, basically. I think we start with what is the thing, the visual we want for the promos? And the visual we wanted was all the guys shirtless. And then we work back to how we can make it actually seem legitimate. Basically it was games from around the world because she likes to travel. Yeah, that's how they kind of made that work. Doesn't matter, doesn't matter Georgia, because as you write, Australia wanted to see them shirtless. There was one before, which I don't even know what that was. What was that? I'm sure they did stuff, but all I saw was the oily six packy yams. So everyone had to strip off their shirts and oil up for Roman wrestling. And then Georgia, you old pranks to you, said, oh no, just one of you. I don't need to have everybody wrestle. So it did mean though that for the rest of that date, the men had to do the in-camera pieces and stand around together, shirtless and oiled up. Again, Georgia, solid job. Solid, solid job. It was Reese versus other Matt, as in not the one she's got an actual connection with, but just the guy who's hanging around the background a lot. They had a wrestle, it was fun, and then she kind of, and then other than that, won, and Reese hurt himself, and then had a sling. Just when you thought we were going to the rose ceremony and the cocktail party, no, 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 a new envelope turns up, and Matty J, Dark Horse Matty J, comes out with the single date. They go on a croquet date, where you've never seen someone get more excited about croquet in your life, but had good chemistry, good banter, a little bit of laughs, and they actually both seem to relax in front of the cameras. I'm sure they were very aware that they were there, but there seemed to be a natural kind of, you know, not tell me about your feelings, but a bit of back and forth and fun and levity. And this is the kind of guy that Georgia clearly likes. Cause obviously if you look at some of the guys that she's attracted to, like the Courtney's, there's that playful kitty side that she likes versus the hot beefcake side that I like, which is the, the Lees and the Jakes and the Clancy's and the just the tall, good, attractive man side. Yeah, had, so they had a good day and then they had a good pash too. Uh, look, in the two pashes that we saw on tonight's episode, I would say Cam. Cam, hands down. Cam nailed that pash. At the cocktail party, Reese continued his game, which he's been playing for a long time now of, oh, by the way, someone's not here for the right reasons. Now that's fine. Play that game, be that guy. But back yourself. So like he outed Sam eventually and said, I think Sam's not here for the right reasons. But then at the Rose Ceremony, he tried to tell us in his voiceover that he hoped Sam didn't get sent home. Well, mate, no. If you're going to be the guy who knifes someone in the back, claim it. Touch down the knife. Don't be like an in and out. You know, stick to your convictions, man. Uh, they also, it scared me, Cam pulled out a guitar. I'm like, oh my God, no, please don't ruin your hot factor by like singing and like balladeering. And he started to sing the first like line. And I was like, oh, he can't even sing that well. No, no. And then the rest of them all joined in on a comedy song. Georgia, who loves people when people sing to her, as we've seen it, it from the intruder, Todd, um, went bananas for it. Like he thought she had been given like the, the, the keys to the kingdom. She was happy about the song as Maddie J was about croquet. So that was these two episodes, so many good things. The thing, like, as I said, I'm still loving the fact that we've got two genuine streams of guys and that there's a lot of quality content in there. And I think we'll get down to the final five and, and have some really tough farewells. Um, and Georgia's got quality to pick from. So God damn, these producers, where were you in Richie's season? Although maybe you cast deliberately knowing what Richie's tastes ran like. Hmm, something in that for us to think about. My first rose, oh yeah, it's going to Cam. Cam, that kiss technique. Feel free to show me in person specifically how it's done. Because damn, that was hot. Oh man, I give you my rose, give me a kiss. I mean, I mean it sounds really stalkery on an old person, so if you ever really meet in real life, ignore this. My second rose goes to Lee. Lee, who looked amazing. I didn't, I would have given this to you last week for your date et etiquette. It was amazing, it was beautiful, it was hot. You looked fantastic in a cable net. This week, you eight packed it. 
you eight packed it in an oily gorgeous way and you smile and you look beautiful and your letter reading skills was lovely lee you don't know where i live but maybe if you found out i'd let you come in the front door and my third and final rose i'm gonna give it to georgia because she continues to be incredibly open incredibly ready for this experience uh she's got genuine relationships building with quite a few people and she's not cutting herself off from other people so I'm really excited about it and she's also someone who doesn't take the shit so like when Reese tried to come to her and go I'm not going to tell you who's it's not here for the right reason she's like no boy you're going to bring it you got to tell me so I like that about it she's got spine when she needs to have spine but she's genuinely kind of happy excited about it Georgia I give you my rose but I also want to be your friend so I can crack onto your soon-to-be ex-boyfriends that is my bachelor recap I will see you next week where we have Apparently lots of people leaving. We have a two-on-one date. Stuff's going to go down. Let me know who is your favourite, who is your second favourite, and what are you loving about this season? Or are you not loving this season? Are you one of the people out there who's like, nah, I don't really care? Um, or I don't like this person specifically, or I'm not going to have edited this. I'd love to know your thoughts, Bachelor friends. Leave them below. Subscribe to the channel. Give me a thumbs up if you like my videos. Otherwise, I will see you soon.